Diagwitch August Volch uh, is Misha Claire, and welcome back to another episode of Celtic Creature Lore. This is going to be a continuation of my Celtic Creature Lore series, where we're going to dive deep but briefly into prominent and maybe not so prominent mythological Celtic creatures. But today we're gonna to be leaning more on the prominent end of the spectrum and talk about a pretty well-known creature called the Kelpie. This is definitely one of those creatures that actually shows up in pop culture now again. If you've read Sarah J. Mass's latest, A Court of Silver Flames, a Kelpie makes an appearance there. It is a shape-shifting, water spirit but predominantly shows up as a horse. This originates from Scottish mythology. When depicted in popular art, it's often seen as a green horse always near water and dripping wet but it is a shapeshifter. Sometimes it's green with a long seaweed mane or mane of serpents. Sometimes it's all black with the shiniest coat. And again, dripping wet, that's a prominent theme because it is a water spirit. Part of its shapeshifting abilities meant that it could shapeshift into a human form, but it is predominantly seen as a demon because as a shapeshifter, whether it showed up as a horse or as a human, sometimes it would use singing, sometimes it would use in its appearance, but it is always trying to lure its victims to it, force them into their watery realm, and usually eat them, but sometimes marry them, as one does. Sometimes, especially in its horse form, it would take on many victims by literally extending its back. One of the most predominant Kelpie folklore stories out there is is that children would find this beautiful horse near the water, they would befriend it, and all the boys would start to get on its back. One boy was kind of lingering, staying behind, would pat the horse and then realize that his hand was stuck to it. Obviously the other children were already stuck to it. They were doomed from the start, but the boy whose hand was stuck, he cut off his fingers to get away while the Kelpie took the other children and drowned them in the lake. This is one of those obvious stories that seemed to be a cautionary tale from parents to kids, especially in a place like Scotland, about being safe around large bodies of water and strangers. Jumping back into the fact that the Kelpies can shape shift into humans, sometimes they would show up as a a haggard old man mumbling to himself, or a rough shaggy man that would leap in front of solitary riders and crush them and devour them. But they were also known to show up in more attractive forms, sometimes as a beautiful woman dressed in green, singing a song to lure males to their demise. But most of the time the Kelpie was showing up as a handsome young male to lure young women into the sea to be their sea brides and to bear their Kelpie children, or occasionally as a wet nurse or midwife for their other Kelpie brides. It is also seen as a cautionary tales targeting teenage girls to be careful around strangers, specifically young men who might not be the most honest or might be hiding something. But there were ways to gain mastery over the Kelpie. Kelpies can be captured with halters stamped with the sign of the Christian cross. They would be brought brought home and put to work because Kelpies being magical creatures possessed more strength than the average horse. Or if you were able to strike a Kelpie, it could return into its horse form and not a demonic creature out to drown your kids. The most common story of gaining mastery over a Kelpie involved stealing its brittle while it was in its human form. There are very common stories of women stealing brittles of these young handsome men to make them marry her in his human form. But typically Typically, marriage and mastery weren't on the mind when it came to Kelpie lore as they were seen as a death omen. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Celtic Creature Lore. Please let me know down in the comments below, obviously, your thoughts and feelings on the Kelpie if you have any other unique stories that you've heard about them and the future Celtic creatures that you want me to do videos on in the future. I mean, I have quite the list, but please let me know what you're specifically interested down in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more things like this in the future. And I will see you all in my next video or my next episode. Salon.